Hi everybody, today uh, just a video, a quick video about GeForce Now because we're about to go into June 2020 and in a few days the founders, the people who got in early with GeForce Now are going to start to be paying their membership fee which is um, 4 99 a month in the UK. I guess it's probably four, probably five dollars in the US as well. So in this video I want to talk about, you know, how much does it cost? which I've just told you, is it worth it? And what games can you play? That's probably the most important thing that you're wondering about. So first things first, it's five, five pounds a month, um, or the free option, let's not forget about that. So for free, um, you get normal access and you can play for an hour and then it boots you off. You know, so the, the, the beauty with GeForce now is it allows you to play games from mainly your Steam collection. Um, uh, on an old laptop or an old PC that normally wouldn't be able to play games and it's also available on sort of um, phones um, tablets and um, I think Nvidia have a do they have a set top box or something like that but most of these games they're PC games so they're designed to be played with a keyboard and mouse so you'll be playing them on a laptop or a PC and I have to say it works pretty well um, I've played like lots of DayZ on it um, I've played uh, PUBG, I've played Sniper Elite. It works best on uh, not sort of competitive shooters. So PUBG isn't brilliant because you, you've got a little bit of input lag. But on games like DayZ um, or Sniper um, on, uh, sorry, Zombie uh, Zombie Army 4, it's fine. Um, and uh, it the, the, co the quality is obviously dependent on your internet, but we've got pretty crappy internet and it works works really well. And the, again, another really cool thing about NVIDIA, although you pay in NVIDIA if you want to go for the advanced option, so the advanced, the founders member, you get priority access, so you get to the top of the queues. Not that I've ever had to queue anyway. You get extended session lengths. They don't say how long, but I've never been cut off. And you get RTX. Um, and the beauty of it is you, you, you're paying to hire like a high-end gaming PC. So sort of in our, my case, because I'm in the UK, it'll be in Western Europe somewhere. You, you, you're you're paying to hire that and then you play the games that you already own that that's the really cool thing um so if geforce now goes away you've still got your games you own through the epic store or mainly the steam store doing that way i think um ubisoft are supporting uh geforce now as well so that that's a, a really strong selling point i mean when steam do their own streaming service which rumored to be coming soon then you know obviously i'll check that out as well um, but the fact that if it goes away, like if Google Stadia goes away, you know you're a bit knackered because you bought your game through there. But with with GeForce now, you're not. You're buying your game through them. It's a little bit clunky sometimes, but so. But I've enjoyed it. It's enabled enabled me to play games that otherwise there's no way I'd be able to play because I don't have a computer that's powerful enough. So next thing, it's definitely so. It's definitely worth doing. Next thing, what games can you play on it? Well, if you download the GeForce Now app, because obviously it's free, you can kind of you can search for games. Game you want. So, for example, uh, if I wanted to play Dead Side, which is a new game um, that's in early access on Steam, like a, a Daisy sort of game, you see it's not there because not all games are. However, they have just released a list of games that are available. Um, and they're changing the way that um, games are going on to GeForce now. So the way it was was that any game on Steam, and I think in like the Epic launcher and some of the other launchers as well, GeForce now would would just make them work. Um, it kind of installs the game really fast on a on a PC in the in their server uh, warehouse somewhere, and it would get it to work. And then for some reason. Some developers got bees in their bonnets about this, like Activision did, and if, and quite a few independents as well. I guess probably because they weren't asked about it, probably, um, and they pulled their games from it. So, for example, you can't play Call of Duty through um, through GeForce now, which is a real shame. Um, and Bethesda are another one, I think, who have pulled out as well. Uh, let's have a look, D E. Yeah, none of the none of the Bethesda games are on there, which is a real shame. And there was a famous one with uh, the Long Dark. They pulled their game as well, and they were saying, "Well, they were saying, well, it's not. We were never asked. We're not getting a cut of the um, the the fee. 
that that people uh, use. You know, and we're, we're not happy about this. But to be honest, I think they didn't really understand what this offers NVIDIA GeForce Now because it gives the ability of people who haven't got gaming PCs the ability to play games. And that means the ability to buy games and to give these developers money. So a good example of that would be, um, say, say Activision with uh, the new Warzone, Call of Duty. Um, I would probably, if I could play through GeForce Now, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, um, I would probably buy it. Um, because I wouldn't mind playing Warzone on PC just to see what it was like. And then I would use the multiplayer you know, to practice to get better with a keyboard and mouse. Um, and, and that's what it's all about. I mean, I've bought games through, I've bought more games through Steam than I've ever, ever have since NVIDIA's GeForce Now has come out because I've got the ability to play those games. So I think, you know, so so what the NVIDIA have done now is because they've got this feedback from, from developers saying, well, you know, we want to be able to opt in. They've said, okay, unless you opt in, your games won't be won't be in it. And so they've done this big list that came out on the 27th of all the games. So you can look through this and that there's, there's loads and loads and loads and loads of games. So the easiest way to, as I say, is search for your favorite games on the GeForce Now app. But again, there is this big list. Um, so you've got like Rust. So so an example of a, a, someone who hasn't opt in as of now is uh, Scum. That's another. That's an open world um, survival game. Now I bought Scum a few um, a few days ago to do videos on it, but unfortunately, because they've decided not to opt in, I can't. I won't be able to do content af uh, about them. So these are all the. There's there's over two thousand games. So these are all opted in, and these are directly supported. I, I think. So No Man's Sky. There's a big one. There's lo loads and loads and loads of stuff. I mean, it's amazing. You know, all the all the good games, and then you have games that GeForce now simply it kind of it installs them to the to the PC um, where, where uh, the, the, you're hiring and it plays them quickly I don't know really what the difference is between those and those but there's a, there's there's even more there um, and it all it all works seamlessly you know you just fire it up you save a game it does all this stuff the only thing they struggle with that I found so far is that if you're into games that have lots and lots of mods like DayZ uh, the problem is that it has to load the mods each time, so it's not very good. If say you wanted to play um, Daisy and you had to have the community online tools downloaded to it, run a load of other mods, it's not a real practical way of doing it because every time you fire up Nvidia's GeForce Now to play Daisy, it has to load those mods, and that could that could take five minutes. Um, the game itself, you know, installs in seconds, but that that could take five minutes. So I found that that isn't really a good way of a good way of doing it. And so then there's this second list, which are all the games that won't be available. So there's Scum, you know. So all these games, I can now not pay these supply, pay these developers for The Witcher, because I was thinking about getting The Witcher because it was really cheap, and again, it would be an opportunity for me to practice keyboard and mouse. Um, but it's, it's it's a real shame, and all they need to do, actually, there's not that many there, but they need to they need to click, you know, they, they need to click and say, yep, 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 we want to opt in, we want to give people the opportunity to give us money because that's what that's what it's all about so i'd imagine when people start to think about this and really yeah, developers especially go right okay yeah i i can i can take more money off people who previously there's no way that i would have bought like rust no way i just wouldn't have bought rust on pc because my pc can't run it i've got an old laptop that's like five six years old it just can't do it it couldn't do it when it was new but now through geforce now um I, you know i've given them 30 quid to play the game to produce content for youtube and that sort of stuff the, the kind of flying the ointment could be like exclusivity deals though i kind of understand that the fact that ace some you know, it could be that um, Bethesda they want to have their own streaming service for streaming their games, but it's a, it's short sighted in in my opinion. I think the future is through streaming is definitely through third parties like Nvidia, who who you're just buying the service, not the games. Or you know, if Steam come along and do it, then I think you know. But even then, if Steam do it, you won't be able to play your, your Epic games and stuff like that. So so anyway, so there we go. So five pounds a month if you want to pay for it although it is free it's definitely worth doing if you want to play pc games on an old computer um, or an old laptop 
Um, and you know there are thousands and thousands of games you, you want to play again check by downloading the free app and, and look for the game or again I'll put a link to this list where you can actually look at the games that they can play on it anyway that's enough from me hopefully that's useful and I'll see you again soon <laughs>